welcome to today's show. As I cover on this channel, this world just gets sicker and sicker by the day. All of this darkness continues to come out into the light. These Satanists, these witches, these occultists who do all of these disgusting deeds in darkness and in the shadows are now bringing this into the mainstream. I talked about the vampire facial and the blood cream that's out there. Every day we go through these things over and over. We see the agendas that they're pushing and the indoctrination that they're pushing on the masses out there. They're indoctrinating them with occultism and Satanism through these movies and this music. And now we have another show, a new show premiering on Netflix entitled The Santa Clarita Diet. And the show's premise is about cannibalism. Yes, cannibalism. And if you look, you can see Drew Barrymore, the Satanist herself, is one of the lead characters or lead actresses in the show. And these trailers that they have for it, they're almost making it seem like, hey, you want to lose weight? Become a cannibalist, right? Start eating people. You'll feel better. It'll be a better diet for you. Uh, you know, oh, it's just a wonderful thing. They're making it almost like a parody so that people go along with it so they're not frightened by it. That's why they're making a parody out of it. If they came out and they said, oh, eating people like Silence of the Lambs or something like that, people will be a little scared. But since they're using comedy, like I always say, and humor – to surround this this show that is going to be about a married couple who are cannibalists and eat people and murder people as if it's funny and people are supposed to care. Who would sit and watch filth like this and find it funny, a show about cannibalism, finding humor in it? This right here is what Satanists do. Okay, they not only torture, dismember, do human sacrifice. They're cannibalists. They eat the victims. They use their blood. And they are indoctrinating people now with getting used to this stuff. We've seen it with the zombie films. You know, the zombies are all the rave now. People, you know, and vampires, they made those things cool. All those things revolve around blood, drinking of blood, zombies eating brains. Okay, I mean, it's all right there in plain sight. And people just go, oh, stop it. You're being a stick in the mud. I mean, take a look at the website that they created to promote this absolute trash television. You can see the red and the black, the colors are using, even the almost an Ouroboros at the top. You can see Drew Barrymore drinking blood. It says, find out the secret. You scroll down, it says, you'll love the new you, how it works. And you see a finger and an eyeball inside of this glass that just, I guess somebody just made with a blender. They blended, you know, blueberries and strawberries and a human finger. Ha ha ha. Oh, it's so funny. It's so funny. And then here on the bottom... As they just continue to push this cannibalism, which it just amazes me how people can't see what's going on and see the agendas behind it. That people aren't going, oh, this is really disturbing. You know, this is really sick. Uh, you know, why Why is this a show that somebody would want to watch? Instead, it's, oh, it's so cool. Right? Talking about eating people because people don't think this really goes on. And soon enough, these people out there who don't think this stuff occurs are going to be indoctrinated over and over with this. And eventually they'll probably be eating people. Because that's what they want. This is what they want. This world has gone mad. You can see some of these posts. The Santa Clarita diet is fun for the whole family. Olia is bursting with new life thanks to the Santa Clarita diet. So she's drinking, you know, blood, human blood, or, uh, you know, and body parts that were blended up. Start today and get the body you always wanted. You see what they're doing here? The type of mind control? Here's another one. Blood red is all the rage this season. <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. People go, well, it's fiction. It's not a big thing. This is conditioning. This is why these shows like American Horror Story are pumped out season after season. They use it to indoctrinate people. They use it as a method of straight up mind control. And look at this. We got corpse pose is my favorite. Eat healthy people. Get it? So not eat healthy people. It's eat healthy people. Right? So you're eating people. I mean, it's unreal. Let's kill 2017. I mean, all of this stuff on their website. And, of course, Netflix is pumping it out, and it's getting buzz. People are like, oh, this is going to be so cool. I can't wait to see it. Nobody's going, oh, this is this is just so sick or anything like that. Nobody thinks that way because they don't think that they mind control exists because they're under mind control, and they're too prideful. They sit there, and they go, oh, that's not real mind control. It's like I say over and over, okay, you know, we can study animals and all these other things and realize 
what they do, what's in their nature, you know, uh, what, what are their instincts, and that's what people do, right? These quote-unquote people, scientists or whatever, they study animals, they study what they're doing, how they can get them to manipulate them, to do this or do that. It's the same thing that they do with humans, okay? Only human beings are completely subjected to being put under full mind control and not even realizing what in the world they're doing because they're walking around in an alpha state, they're never turning their brain on, Okay, they're in a sleeping state of mind, going through the same routines, never critically thinking. Never critically thinking. They're letting them think for them, and they're being conditioned with this stuff. So now we have a show on top of all the other garbage on television, how many shows I've exposed. We have Lucifer on TV, you know, making Lucifer look cool and edgy. Ooh, he's so cool, Lucifer. I mean, it's a complete joke. We have all these shows that are about witchcraft and promoting witchcraft and magic, Right? We have tons of those shows. We have American Horror Story and those types of things out there. And now we get one about cannibalism, promoting it, making it look cool, and like I said, using it, the humor to make it almost like a parody in a sense, so that people are okay with it. They find it funny. They find, oh, you know, oh, let's murder somebody and eat them, and let's make it funny so people out there aren't terrified by it. Thus, they're under mind control and are being indoctrinated into this without even being aware at all that mind control is real. It's like pulling strings on a puppet. That's what they do with people. And now we're seeing cannibalism in the mainstream. I mean, I don't know what's next. What else? I mean, soon, I guess, we'll see them openly discuss the one thing that they won't discuss, and that's the molestation, raping, and sacrificing of children. But we have seen some shows come out in regards to MK Ultra and children on Netflix. And some other places, there's some shows, but sooner or later, I mean, that's the last thing, right, that they have to do to expose themselves. They start having shows about how it's okay for a 20, or, you know, a 50-year-old man to be with a 10-year-old girl. And then people will be like, oh, I guess it's not so bad, because they'll make the 10-year-old sophisticated and talking like an adult. And people will be like, all right, I guess she's mature for, I mean, that's how sick all of this is. All of this stuff is coming into the light now. And when you make a parody like this, and you make it humorous, People out there aren't going to be afraid of cannibalism. They're going to embrace cannibalism. And that's what they want because they don't want to be doing this stuff in secret anymore. They don't need to be. And for the most part, they're not. They're right in front of our faces doing this, showing us, and using television as a means for mind control to discredit these things as if they're fiction because these films are supposed to be fiction. So people see this and they go, come on, man. This is a TV show. It's not a big deal. Yeah, it's just a TV show. Maybe people started critically thinking for themselves, asking why garbage like this gets produced. And all of this stuff, you know, relates to Satanism. It's all intertwined. It's all the same garbage over and over. And now we have people eating each other, going on what is called the Santa Clarita diet, making a mockery of it as if, oh, you'll lose weight and feel great. Check it out. And people are going to think it's great and it's funny and they don't even realize what this is going to lead to absolutely sickening this world gets more embarrassing by the day it really does i'm becoming embarrassed to be a human being because there's so many people out there that are so dumb and so dumbed down who think that everything's a big joke they take nothing serious except for their facebook posts that they put up when they're trying to self-promote their life their lives to people on facebook look what i'm eating for dinner look what i paint i painted my toenails who cares Wake up! These people are coming out of the darkness. This satanic lifestyle, these things that are rituals, are going to become normal in people's day-to-day lives. They're going to be daily rituals that people are going to be partaking in, whether they understand what they're doing or not. And people already are. And cannibalism is next. And we know that they put stuff in food and fast food. They put, you know, I mean, there's so many stories out there about the meat at the fast food places and what they put in it. This is all about Satanism. And until people understand that this is a war, a spiritual war, this is about God and the devil, until people realize that Jesus Christ is the only truth in this world and salvation can only be obtained through him, until people realize that, they're going to continue to get sucked down into hell. 
because they're going to be going along with these occultic agendas. They're going to be partaking in them. They're going to be watching it, not realizing that they're what they're watching and why they're why it has been put there for them to watch, which is to indoctrinate, which is to desensitize people from things like cannibalism and make it look funny and cool and use humor around it so it's not scary and it's something people will eventually be open to trying. It'll become a delicacy, right? Human tongue. It will. That's how insane this world has gotten. So this is the Santa Clarita diet. More garbage television. This is on Netflix. Might as well just super glue your eyes shut at this point. Because the crap and the Satanism just continues to come out day after day after day. I thank you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families.